I know you've taken people on these retreats and you mentioned the the naked fellow running around wanting to accost people. Oh. Are there any other really good freak out stories from people you've been around who maybe overindulged a bit, lost their mind temporarily? Well, I'll tell you the the first retreat we did, uh, there was a guy who went on it who's an entrepreneur and um, very successful, had a million dollar business. And uh, unfortunately him and his wife were having some real challenges uh, so much so that she said that she had hidden a gun in their house and that she was going to kill him Shit. And, and the kids. Uh, she had really kind of lost it. Yeah. Well, he uh, came down for this retreat um, because he was like, dude, I, I need fear. something to sort mm-hmm. this out. And the night before we did the, the uh, hero's journey, he was like, yo, man, I don't think I'm going to do this. I'm, uh, uh, this kind of freaks me out. I, I think I'm going to pass. So I said, all right, man, no problem. We go, we talk about it, and finally decides he's going to do it. Well, um, so the next day I give him seven grams of mushrooms, and, and dude, the next six hours were completely life-changing for him. There were times when he was just like looking around like he was just delighted. And then there were moments where he's like, putting his head down here and looking up and looking at me very suspiciously. Well, we get the sun starts to set. We're in the jungle and it's time to go. And I was like, Hey man, uh, we got to go. And he's laying on the ground. Won't leave. Finally, we get him up walking through the jungle, through the river. He needs to get on the back of his motorcycle because that's how we got there. So he needs to ride the back of his motorcycle to go back to the house. And he looks at me. He's like, Hey man, I'm scared. I was like, Hey dude, don't worry. I got you. Well, the next day, you know, of course we make it home. Okay. Mm -hmm. The next day he's like, dude, when you told me to get on the bike, it looked like you were God and (laughs) God was telling me that everything was okay. Now, dude, look, don't get it. Don't, don't get the wrong idea. What happened here? is in his consciousness something about he he learned something about the way this world works something that all the mystics have tried to tell us for all the time which is everything's okay trust now it made it seem like i'm god in that that was just like an anthropomorphism it was just like me playing that role but the, the thing that happened the thing that happened the the experience okay the experience not something that somebody told him okay but he was really there and really, do you, do you know how much courage it takes to tell for one grown man to tell another grown man, I'm scared? This grown mm-hmm. man who whose wife has a gun at his house and has yeah. never told me I'm scared. I can't get over that. That's he, what he I've been stuck this whole time. This man is a scared expert. He, he knows he, scared he like the, nothing about the back of his hand. <laughs> now he's saying, I'm scared. Look, that's a huge experience of, but, whoa, everything. He didn't leave his kids at home, did he? Yes, he ship them to. My question is this: Mike, wh- how does going and having any sort of um, treatment um, going to help that you've got a murderous, crazy lady at home with your children? Like, like that? Well, did he send her? Did she? Did she also get doped up somewhere? <laughs> she realized she was right. <laughs> she was right. But what did he? He's like, you know what? I realized. She's right. <laughs> She's right. Those kids. Suck. Like, what happened? How, what was the resolution to that? Because the real problem is his wife is crazy. She has like postpartum depression or something. Post, post, postpartum. Post, 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 post. Squared, cubed. In, in a relationship, the, the real issue is when people, no matter what the issue is, there's two people that can't communicate. And so in this situation, the issue was that there was some question about some infidelity. She wasn't able to get over it he wasn't able to talk to her in a way that helped her get over it there was a whole is a fucking mess shit mm. but so you kill them that's a that's a whole other thing that's scary that is so scary <laughs> well i mean i can tell you i would not be going just, to or was costa she rica for making... drugs no that happened to me <laughs> no. i would be kids get in the car we're leaving now <laughs> we'd be searing across the state there'd be a fucking amber alert for my car i'd be getting out of my car, beating the shit out of someone in another car, taking their car, getting my kids in there, going, your mother's a crazy bitch. She told me she's going to kill you. And they go, Taylor, she showed me the car. gun. Yeah, she showed me the gun. She, do, she had bullets Taylor, with her names you, on them. Taylor, do you have any kids? No. So you don't know what you're talking about. Kyle, do you have any kids? I have four. I would, I would take them and I'd get away with them. 
You know, like, right, look, so if my wife uh, let's, told let's, me that she was thinking about killing me and our four children, I would, I, I might kill her, um, honestly, if, if she said that, but I would definitely like go to the authorities and put a stop to it however I could, because I can't I let the kids uh, die. I, I care think, about them too much. I think we're getting off the point. Three here. of them. The point is there's, everybody's got different ways of dealing with things. And uh, did, the and LSD fix, is, did the mushrooms fix it? In this guy's case, it was it was a delicate situation, man. Like, did it get mushrooms fix it? Like, did they get it broken off and everything with no violence? No, no. Dude, you guys are kind of making fun, but like, I want to know what happened. You told me the guy's wife is going to kill him and his kids, and he came to you to do to do mushrooms in another country, and I'm and you're telling me that's the right thing, and I'm saying okay. So how did how did it end up? And I'm wondering if there's dead kids in the end of the story. It's you probably wouldn't have told like. the story if that if that I part just, happened. I just don't get the feeling that you guys are taking or like believing the story or something. It sounds like you're making fun of me, but no, the, the I believe the story. Is it's, guys, it's ridiculous, though. The, okay, well, anyway, um, now they're together, <laughs> and it sounds cl- anticlimactic because of so all the ridicule. Um, but this is real life, man. There, there are real people who do things that, as you sit there in your chair, smugly fucking judging them, they are real people who don't know what to do about situations. Well, this that woman, idiot, man. This you, woman, look, you describe crazy. This man. woman who was no married to him, who's agree an with Asian scenario. woman, is that what who the police this way of do? seeing the world that is <laughs> very humiliating to her if she's cheated on? Then she threatens of the course. thing that she can only do to get his attention. And for you to be so smug and to laugh it off, these are real. I'd people. rather be smug than a mother who threatens the lives of her children. Well, I think one's you, better you than the other. don't have to be one or the You're other. You're defending the child killer. I'm not defending anyone. I'm telling you, this is the way people are. I'm not suggesting that anyone's right. I'm suggesting that you <sighs> let people be. Who they are and recognize well, that this is the way well, that no, people yeah, if, are. If, if who someone is is threatening to kill their children, you can't let that s- someone be. That that husband didn't let it be. He took the 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 task to go and try and remap husband. his his thinking to try and handle it. Right. I think you guys are missing the point. <laughs> I'm sorry. Maybe I'm just telling the story wrong. Uh, what I'm trying to tell you is that these are emotional things that people say. Sure. Am I trying to say that her? The children's lives were in danger. I have no idea. I'm just telling you that this is what the situation was. And if you get fixated on this one bit, where well, it's a big. It bit. might have been What's something all you told that she said in fucking anger. I'm just telling you that what, that's the way. Say, saying was. saying that I hate you in anger is so much different than saying you're going to kill your children in in anger. Like, Woody, let me run this. Let me catch you up real quick. One of Roger the- that. One of um, Michael's patients uh, came to him because his wife told him, I have a gun hidden in the house. I plan to kill you and all three children. So he and he hooked up with Michael and they went to Costa Rica and left the kids with her. And uh, it all worked out. And I, he's, Michael says that I'm sitting here smugly judging story. her. Shut up, Michael. Michael, shut <laughs> Won't you? You're being a little smug there for someone who's this on the side of a house it. somewhere with, with <laughs> birds on, and on, dogs on. barking. I heard a stranger walk by a minute ago. Don't be rude to me and cut me <laughs> off. I let you trail on for three fucking, I, I don't know how many stories of nonsense. All, all right, I said all right. was this sounds like a terrible human being. And if my wife threatened my children, she wouldn't be my wife anymore. And that's not a crazy thing or coming from a smug place. That's a normal thing coming from a sane place. It does sound like she needed some help to reset, right? Like, No, no, she, she a, didn't do the drugs. Well, he left I, her with no, the kids and he did drugs. I did follow um, oh, what sorry. I was saying. Okay. But she was the one who was off her rocker, it sounds like. Like she wasn't, she needed to be committed. Yeah. Before she made a terrible decision, you think? I do. Yeah, I think so. Like if someone's threatening that to their children, but he, I, got I don't help, think you can. Yeah. And she got over it. Like, why did that work? I don't know. Yeah, I don't it, know. It's it, like, was he making her crazy? Did him leaving make her rethink where she was? I think he had cheated on her. And she was Asian, so that was extra 
that. Oh, I didn't know anything about that. Um, huh. And did they live happily ever after? Did they put it back together or did they get a divorce and get that right? Michael? Actually, they're still married. They're still and married. They have, for everything you can tell, a much better relationship. And um, they seem to be doing great. Huh. I think there's a little luck involved on this, right? Yeah. If she yeah, was losing her mind. Like, it, it's just, there was something going on with her, obviously. Like, I would think that was the principal problem here. It's just, it's so, the whole situation is so bizarre to me. Like, because I'm, I'm just putting myself in that space of hearing someone I'm married to threatening my children and then going on a trip. Like, did, that's insane. Like, you, you see that, right, Michael? Guys, I, I, we're in a place where, like, we're just not talking about the same thing anymore. Oh, and, um, maybe I, you can I help me catch up. Like, I so, don't really know what we're trying to do right now. Hmm. Have a normal human being conversation. <laughs> I think what for was, non brain addled individuals. I think what Kyle was saying initially was that the whole like LSD thing can be good, but you caught us off guard with this story because it's so far beyond what you should be seeking psychedelics for if your spouse is threatening the lives of your children to go on a trip and do LSD is madness instead of taking action and being like, we got to get these. We got to protect our kids. I think if it's as serious as you laid out initially of her saying, I hit a gun and I'm going to kill you and the children. You, you got to take that more seriously. That's not a I need to be enlightened situation. That's a there is a life and death situation potentially. And this must be rectified. Well, dude, all you guys are saying is that you don't believe this story. Because no one has said that once. No, not, well, not you, once. you clearly You've said are. that three times, though. You're clearly, you clearly are. Because I don't believe the story now because, because you're so you, about keep, it. you keep suggesting did I, that did something I ask that else confusing could one? have happened, although actually what happened was the best possible outcome. So you're telling me that it should have gone another way when what I'm telling you is it went great. So you're telling me you walked into the I, street blindfolded, and found $100, and so that's must work. That's the way to walk across the street. Yeah, I was going to say something similar. Like, like I have. Um, I've been on a hockey team and they say, Woody, play your position. And then I don't play my position and I score. And they're like, I hate it when bad ideas work out. <laughs> right. <laughs> like, you know, it, it's still a good idea to play your position, even though yeah. this one time it worked for you. Mm -hmm. So if your wife is threatening your kids to leave her alone with the kids, like even though it worked out, he needed to play his position. No, you don't see I feel it like, like he's that. culpable. If, if she killed him, I feel I, like he's almost I, as guilty as I her. Like you guys, I feel like you guys are fixating on one part of the story. That That's the interesting is... part. I might not have the whole story. No, Kyle laid it out. Yeah. Oh, you Sorry. think I do? Um, okay. The interesting part is not what might sound most sensational, but the interesting part is actually what happened. And the so, sensational part happened too. It's two for two. It's that, that that beats the other part because the other part just happened and it's not sensational. You've got sensational reality. I never said the story didn't happen. What I'm saying is the story is so ridiculous that it's fascinating. Yeah. That I want to do a case study on it. That that, that I want to if if I knew that guy's address, I'd call the police in his area and tell him, hey, there's a crazy lady over there who's threatening her children. <laughs> the cops should know. The cops should know. <laughs> they they should. Everyone yeah. who knows he wasn't telling is culpable in some manner. 